All right, so the idea is I have this scrap uh, fabric. So we have some fur, a, a tiny scraps of the fur, this thing I made, it's like a puffy thing I might use for fur. And we have this fleece and a lot of pieces of minky. And my goal is to make a fursuit head out of this. Now it's gonna be a small one, it's gonna be balaclava base. I'm gonna make it try and make it semi-realistic. But this is gonna be me chronicling how it goes. So let's get started. All right, so basically I have this original species, bismuth is an example of one. So I'm either gonna make a suit of one of them or a dragon. So I'll uh, kind of let you know what I end up choosing. I have this, I kind of already started. So I will be fixing up the balaclava and I will just be using that. The first scraps. It's gonna be nice and small though, cause I want it to be kind of portable. A uh, dragon would be nice cause I could use all this fleece. But one like business would be nice because then I can use all these really cool pieces of minky. All right, so I decided on a line. So what I did is I used scrap fabric to make the balaclava. I just kind of hand stitched it. It's not the best, but it'll be nice and pretty on the inside. And then I used some scrap foam, just like tiny scraps like that to make the head base. And I decided on a line so I could use this. You know, lines don't exactly have that, you know, pattern, but I figured that'd be nice to use for the neck and then I'd make the face out of minky. So I'm going to tape her up and then we'll get to the next part. But here she is so far. I think I'm gonna give her handmade resin eyes and they'd be pretty cheap or you could get your own or you could just add 2D toony eyes. It's really a stylistic choice. But I shall tape her up and I'll be right back. Okay. You can use, this is plastic from like foam, but you can also use plastic from shopping bags. You wrap the head in plastic, then you wrap it in duct tape. So this can really help you. So go to the Dollar Tree, you can get like two rolls of duct tape uh, for like two bucks and you're gonna need more than one roll because they're not very like thick rolls uh i'm not sure if i have any sitting around here i do they're about this big ah and you then just use the bag that you bought them in to help you pattern the head so now here i am i'm stitching it i like to hand sew it's just a personal preference a machine would be a lot faster though if you do have like a bunch of scraps or something like if you only have a bunch of pieces like this you can definitely do a lot of markings i'm doing minky because it makes the head all as hot but here is the progress so far excuse the pink like blowing out the camera i decided to do these for the mane i'm gonna do like a half and half mane I'm not sure how it's gonna look with this pink little nose bridge uh so i might have to replace that with more white and i'm going to be using the thing i showed earlier i'm ripping that apart and then i'm hopefully gonna try and make do with this, but if there's not enough, I guess I could substitute in some white. Let's hope we can get the entire neck down just this. It's a rather small neck, so fingers crossed. So I've got everything sewed. This side is going to attach to this side. I'm gonna sew all the neck pieces together and then I'm going to attach them because I would like to do the ears first. Uh, the face first, not attached, I'm gonna do that. But when you are working with scraps of fabric, so you do have to compromise. I had to add some pieces here just to make them big enough. So here they are, pinned. Uh, it's, this is the neck fur. I actually have to glue down the face fur first, but I think I'm gonna do the ears next. I think I'm gonna give them some blue on the inside and then and uh, you know, white the rest of them. But here's what he looks like pinned. He's nice and small. He's a very small head size. So here's some compared to there's like one of my normal heads, more realistic proportions my goal is to make him very small very portable very lightweight but still very comfortable so i actually haven't had a chance to try him on yet uh because all the pins are in him still so i think i'm gonna line the mouth do the nose and ears and then sew this on and he'll be ready for a try on all right so my glue gun's warming up and i'm going to glue some fabric on the inner ear i have to take this off uh and then i'm going to put the inside of the mouth in black and then the nose and inner ears will be that blue color and then I will start gluing down the face fur and then I'll have to sew it to the mane and sew the ears uh, down and a couple other things I'd say this could be a 24-hour fursuit thing uh, it definitely definitely could have been if I had pre-made the resin eyes I was actually planning on using resin eyes I'm still gonna make them uh, and then see how I like them if I don't like them I'll just go with 2d eyes but yeah I also planned out a little fluff in the ears just to give it more of a lion look because it does kind of look like a bear 
face is all sewn and gleamed out, uh, but this uh, fur needs to be sewn on and these little ear tufts need to be sewn on. But I think the main problem with this character is the pastels with the neons. They're just not working. I think the blue will be fine if I leave it, but the pink is just... They, these two clash horribly. So I think I'm going to have to sew a patch over this or remove it and sew a new one on of just white fur. And I really think that'll make a huge difference. But yeah, here he is so far. I swear he'll look much better once he's eyes. So I'll be back once he's all sewn around the edges. So here he is now. And I have to say the eyes definitely help. I think they help distract from, in all honesty, kind of the rest of the face. So here he is. He's got a nice hollow mouth, if you can see that. It's pretty, it's pretty hollow. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the yellow. The yellow is very striking on him. Uh, there just isn't a ton of black on him, and I gave him inverted eyes, so I'm not sure how that's going to end up looking. Worst comes to worst, I just change these to, like... Maybe purple eyes or something might make it a little more, uh, a tad bit more, you know, in color scheme. Here he is so far. Everything's sewn down. Basically, all that is left on this suit is the tongue. Like, he just needs a tongue in there and he'll be all good. Ah. The lining is, like, the balaclava, the neck, it's not connected in here. Like, you kind of have to, like, hold it when you put it in. And I'm not sure if I'm going to sew that down or not. Because I'm not really sure how to. But I'm thinking. I don't really like the suit. Uh, especially compared to my other suits. I, I would never wear this. So I'm probably going to end up, like, selling it or something. It's not great. Like, it's, you know, the seams are sewn. Uh, aside from, like, around the edges of the nose, the edges of the mouth. And right here in the ears. But everything else is completely sewn. And he's made with, like, decent fur. So I might just sell him as a pre-made, as like a discounted price, maybe like a little under 200 bucks or something. Alright, so we've gotten the eyes painted. I really kind of like how they look. Very simple, but I like it. And I pinned some horns on, right? And he kind of looks like a goat. So what uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to really lean into this. I'm going to make him, there's some more curly horns. And then I, if I have time, or if I can really get the motivation to, because it's really small down there, I might make him some little goat teeth, and I'm gonna add a goat teeth. And we will. I'm, I didn't really like this project, but I really do like how he likes how he looks now. I really think the eyes helped. I think the inverted eyes definitely helped give him some darkness that he definitely needed. But here's a little update. He also has another tongue. This one's just slightly longer, so it sticks out just a bit. Alright, so he's very close to being done. He has some little goat teeth. As you can see there, and there's his tongue. And he has his second pair of horns on. And I definitely think he's he's a pretty he's kind of a cutie. So here he is. The suit, like cosmetically is done. All that's left is to sew the lining to the fur on the inside so it's easier to put on. So I'll do a little overview once I'm done but here he is so far so this suit was made completely out of scraps and scrap material and he's definitely not my best suit but he's he's pretty cute and also he's he's pretty small like here he is compared to my hands so it's pretty small and portable and really cheap for fursuit because I probably used you know remnants of foam uh, he's not perfect he does have you can see he got some glue around his eyes uh, and I'm really not loving that but I do not think eyeliner would suit this suit well so here he is so here he is he does look a bit deflated without uh, a head inside Jamie over there his horns can come off uh, they're just sewn up right here yeah, you can see his face mostly keeps its shape it's up here because uh, there's no back to this whatsoever. Like, it holds on itself, but there's, like, no foam in the back of it. So here you go. You can see there's kind of a nice ventilation. I'm going to show the inside because I don't normally line my heads. 
It's like elephant print fabric. There we go. So you have the words return the muzzle. You have the head up there. I don't think you can see the mouth very well. The mouth uh, has pretty good venom. I'd say my head is around 21, maybe 22 inches. So this is probably a head that. Like, I don't think it would fit anyone uh, larger than my head. Uh, and, you know, battle cover bases are definitely not my thing, but I am happy with how he turned out. He's got his flaws. I don't like the wrinkles on the face. If you've seen some of my previous suits with Minky, I don't normally have this problem. But with him, I guess I did. And then, he's not, uh, some other problems, he's not a perfect goat, because uh, he was supposed to initially be a lion, and I'm sure you can still see kind of the lion look but i really do hope the goat thing uh i would have to like if his nose was better but taking it off and it's patterned around the nose there's just no way to fix that at this point so here he is i think he's a cute too he was the, he'll definitely never be my favorite too but i definitely think he's got a pretty good good look to him i think he's very unique looking i think the inverted eyes really helped i don't I'm not a huge fan of 2D eyes, but I think these kind of work. Although, he does once again have those glue spots around them. Alright, so excuse the closet in the background, but here is the boy. He is all done. He was made with complete just scraps, just to hide around. I think he's probably made with like a quarter of a yard of fur at most. And I really wanted to do this to show you that you can make fur suit. Even if you don't have a lot of materials. I personally recommend fleece for fursuits. Uh, it's a really good material. It's a bit hard to work with. But yeah, this is so hopefully just some inspiration. He's not perfect. Uh, he's not the best suit I've made. But I, I don't know, after working so hard on him, I just kind of, you know, kind of like him. So excuse the human skin showing. So yeah, here he is. I think I named him Stardust. I'll be posting some art and pictures of him on my Instagram that I will link below. But yeah, overall, here he is. I hope you found this video entertaining. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my Instagram. That's where I give the most uh, furry whips and stuff. And art whips. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!